Tolo model with technology. This is part two in this series. So I hope you remember that we have written this kind of production function. Right. K to the power alpha. A L to the power one minus alpha. Right. K to the power alpha, A L to the power one minus alpha, where alpha is line between zero to one. So if I divide both sides by AL, we will be getting this guy. K to the power alpha, AL to the power of one minus alpha minus one. This is capital Y by AL. So let us call this as Y curl. And this guy is small K curl to the power alpha, right? Uh, K curl to the power alpha. Uh, K curl is nothing but the capital per effective labor. Uh, or you can also write the ratio of Ratio of capital per worker to technology, right? Ratio of capital per worker to technology. Uh, okay. And this is your. Uh, Output technology ratio. Y curl is called output technology ratio. Uh -huh. So our K curl is capital K by L. So I can write log of K curl as log of capital K minus log of L, that is log of capital K minus log of A minus log of L. Mm -hmm. D log of cap, D log of small K curl, D log of capital K, minus d log of a minus d log of l. So I'll take the time log derivatives and then just differentiate this with respect to time. So what will this be? One upon small k curl, d small k curl by dt equals to one upon capital K, d capital K by dt minus one upon da, d a by dt minus one upon l d l by d t. What is this? D k d small k curl by d t is what? k curl dot upon k curl upon small k curl. This is capital k dot by capital k minus a dot by a 
minus l dot by l like this uh -huh. right so you have this guy with you fair enough okay so can i write this as small k capital k dot by capital k now capital a dot by capital k is g l dot by l is n because you know that is the rate of growth of technology is g rate of growth of labor forces n this is exogenously given to you this is what we are assuming it since throughout mm -hmm. okay now what about this guy how can i write this your this equation your uh, capital k dot equation here yeah. there is not uh, much change in the capital k dot equation that is uh, sy minus delta k is capital y minus delta k upon k minus g minus n this is the capital accumulation equation beta we have written this in the last recording if you if you have uh, forgotten it please have a look at that this is sorry this is small s capital y upon capital k minus capital k capital k will get cancelled out minus n plus g plus delta mm -hmm. like this uh-huh okay okay now can i divide both the sides by l i can Mm -hmm. I can divide this both the sides by L. Uh, you know what? I should not be dividing it by L. I should rather be dividing it by AL because to keep everything uh, same. No? So you have what? S small y curl upon small k curl small k curl dot upon small k curl can i can i can i can i can i can i okay can i just multiply both the sides by small k curl i can so small k curl dot is equal to s into small y curl minus n plus g plus delta small k curl like this mm -hmm. right uh, so the this is almost same as uh, the key equation of your solo model without technological progress but you have written the key equation of solo model with the technological progress also equation of solo model with the technological progress right with the technological progress now the point is the diagram is also more or less same right there's there isn't much difference in case of the solo diagram also hmm. 
small k curl. And here you have your investment per worker, uh, uh, this thing. So you remember it better. Your production function in the intensive form is small y curve, small k curl to the power alpha, right? And your uh, this guy, this is S small y curl minus N plus delta plus G small k curl. So you draw this function. I have told you in solo model without technological progress also, if you have seen that recording, that this is the concave shaped production function. If you haven't seen that, please see to that. Then we have also talked about this, that if you multiply both the sides of this, if you multiply this production function in the intensive form with small s on both the sides, then you will get the new curve. So let me just call this as y curl, small k curl to the power alpha. Then you will get the new curve like this. It is the dampened version of, uh, of uh, y curl curve because s is lying between zero to one. So this is a dampened version of that curve. Here you have, this is, what it is, your n plus g plus delta plus k curl, n plus g plus delta plus k curl, right? Uh -huh. So this is your replacement level of uh, capital per worker and where these two are equal because at the steady state, A curl dot is equal to zero. That means S K curl to the power alpha like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you guys have what? So you have uh, S upon. N plus G upon delta. This is this is K curl to the power one upon K curl to the power alpha. So this is K curl to the power one minus alpha. So at what level of K curl will these two be equal? When K curl is equal to S small s upon N plus G plus delta. To the power one upon one minus alpha to the power n upon uh, sorry small k curl to the small k curl star is the steady state level of capital per worker in solo model with technological progress. And the level is given by small s upon n plus g plus delta to the power one upon one minus l. And that is coming at this point. A curl star. That is coming at this thing. Hmm. Uh. So if let's say economy start at the capital uh, uh, technology ratio, which is less than small k curl star, let's say at small k curl not, right? Then what will happen is that eventually economy will move towards the steady state level of k curl that is k curl star right because this is showing you this point is showing you 
the amount of investment being undertaken right and this is telling you the amount of investment which needs to be undertaken to keep the capital technology ratio constant so when you are investing more than what is being needed then definitely capital uh, technology ratio is going to increase over time uh, so you might write one line please write if or at k not at small k not curl hmm. the investment being undertaken exceeds the amount needed to keep the capital technology ratio So, capital technology ratio will increase over time till steady state is reached. And where is steady state reached? When small k curl star is given by small s upon n plus g plus delta to the power one upon one minus l, right? Uh, and at point of small k curl star, the economy is growing at the balanced growth path. So we have talked about the balanced growth path in the last recording, right? Uh, economy. is at the steady state and grows along the balance growth path. And this is growing along the balance growth path. Give it over time, right? So this is uh, what I wanted to do in this recording. Thank you, Vita.